I honestly think if I'd been comfortable in the league, I would have slashed his stick to the next zip code. You're mad, right? Like, it's a big what the f moment, really. Remember this goal? Ovechkin down the wing, drive! He scores! Well, Mike McKenna does. But well, watch what happens here, Joe. It was as if the stick was radioactive. <laughs> yeah. And he talks about it in this episode of I Was In Net 4. Calling Mike McKenna a journeyman would be a massive understatement. He played for 24 professional hockey teams, and that includes seven in the NHL. But back in 2009, he was just looking for a shot. And thanks to injuries to Mike Smith and Olaf Kolzik in Tampa, he got it. Next thing you know, like I never had an NHL contract and I'm signing a contract, I think February 1st, on Super Bowl Sunday, getting on a plane and I'm in the NHL. Skated out on the ice and we're facing the caps and here it comes, right? So <laughs> it, was, um, it was a time in my life that I thought I was ready for that I may not have been. So in March, with a grand total of nine games on his NHL resume, McKenna got the start at home against Alexander Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals. I was kind of in full imposter syndrome mode at that point, like thinking, what am I doing here? Wow, like caps are coming, Ovi's hot, he's breaking records, and he could just beat anybody with a shot back then. He shot the puck so much harder and quicker off the blade, and I, I wasn't up for that on time yet, you know? Now Ovechkin had already scored on McKenna a month before, and sitting on 49 goals, he was in full attack mode. And here comes Ovechkin, one on three. Ovechkin down the wing, drive, he scores! Ovechkin, overwhelming at 50. Well, I just remember him having so much speed through the neutral zone. And it, it always makes you nervous as a goalie with somebody coming at you that quickly because the, the angle changes very quickly. And at that time, he was still shooting the puck a ton on the rush. You know, I think now everybody thinks of him as a big one-timer guy, which he is, but Man, he was crushing guys on the rush, and he comes flying through, and I can't remember the defenseman in front of me, but he shot the puck right next to his feet and his stick. Um, so yeah, the fact that he shot it in stride on the rush and right by the D's feet, it just, I kind of froze because I didn't get a clean read and just up over the glove, it's in the net. Now the goal and the milestone were hardly surprising. The celebration on the other hand, but watch what happens here, Joe. Drop his stick. I'm not sure what he's doing there. It was as if the stick was radioactive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I turned around to grab a drink out of my water bottle. And that's what all goalies do, right? You're trying to reset. You grab a drink, whatever. Let's go play hockey. And I look over and out of the corner of my eye, I see this going on. I'm like, what is he doing? You know, I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. And... I saw him like kind of motion for like teammates to join him and everybody just like looked at him. I remember, I think it was, I think it was Mike Green just kind of looking at him and thinking like, I, I don't think I'm gonna get involved in this. I was mad about it. Like I felt like I was just, I'm already embarrassed enough. It's my first year. I'm trying my best out here and this guy's crushing me. But what could he do? After all, he was a rookie, but it makes you wonder, would he have reacted differently had Ovechkin pulled off that celebration later in McKenna's career? That's a great question. And I've actually, I honestly think if I'd been comfortable in the league, I would have slashed his stick to the next zip code. You know what I mean? Like, and that, that's your in the moment fire reaction. Like, you're mad, right? Like it's a big what the f moment really. In, in the American league, I would have done anything. I'm an absolute peasant out here right now. I'm probably lucky I got this break in the first place. I don't want to be known as the guy who one, got hot sticked, and then two, 10 games into his career, broke Ovechkin's wrist for doing it. And after the game, the 5-2 final hardly seemed relevant. Everyone was talking about the hot stick celebration. I score goal, uh, like I just, uh, Jose could tell me, like, just put it back, uh, put it uh, stick in the ice and try like, it's, uh, it's hot, it's so hot. This is garbage. This is what would separates us from the rest of these sports. I don't need it. I wasn't surprised by it from the, from the standpoint of the media, criticizing him that hard. And it's funny, like Don Cherry defended my dignity on Hockey Night in Canada. And <laughs> I never expected my name to ever be mentioned by Don Cherry. They've gone through a nightmare season. It's in their building and you score on a rookie goalie. I mean, how do you think McKenna feels about this? You don't need to do like this. You're above stuff like that. You're the best hockey player playing today. Have a little class and do it right. 
and the celebration just wouldn't go away. There were t-shirts, bobbleheads, it even made its way into the NHL's video game. But when it comes to this celebration, McKenna has another memory that still sticks with him. We talked about it after. And I don't know whether it was maybe a week later or whenever it was the next time. I'll never forget, I remember just saying hi and him saying, I did not mean to embarrass or disrespect you or anything. You know, I, I thought we were having fun and I just, like he was apologetic about it that it made me like look bad or possibly feel bad about it. And you know what? I was totally cool with it. Like for him to even take that time to just be a human and say, hey, here's, this is what I was feeling in the moment. Like I, I have a hard time holding that against anybody, especially if they can have the humility to think like, okay, maybe, maybe it wasn't nice or right or whatever. Like, yeah, it, it, that was a nice moment afterwards. Eventually the hype began to die down, even for Ovi himself. I don't want to talk about my celebration anymore. But for McKenna, who traded his goal stick for a microphone after retirement, he loves being associated with the hot stick. For a couple of years, every time I'd see it, it was like, clunk, oh, it's me again. It's a cool moment. Like, this is a historical moment in the NHL that I was a part of. And it may not have been for the reasons I wanted to. I, I didn't win a Stanley Cup or, or make a great save or anything, but it's amazing now when I meet people and when I would go to teams later on, eventually they'd always find out, oh my God, that was you. It's everybody, every single time. Oh my God, it was you. And so, you know, I, I, look, I look back on it and I smile. Like I'm proud to be a part of that now.